Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my summer favorites for you guys. I haven't done a proper favorites in a very long time, so I felt like it was due for a nice favorite just to kind of chat with you guys about all the things that I've been loving this summer. We are well into it by now. I'm finally feeling that summer spirit. I'm more of a fall person myself, so it takes me a while to get into it, but I have some products that I love that I really want to share with you guys. If you're excited about this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you are new or are a returning viewer and haven't subscribed yet, pause the video and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me and it helps build my community here. So I really do appreciate it. So thank you in advance and let's just hop right in. I'm staring at my hair pieces so I will just pick those up and share them with you now. It is no surprise that I've been loving hair accessories. I'm still on the hunt for like very cute and fun headbands. I've been like now obsessed with the headbands but I did jump on the clip trend and picked up a couple of of clips these ones I ordered straight off of Amazon and I love them they came in a pack of four um, two that are just nice little I don't really know how to explain these kind of like you just slide them into your hair which I really like you have a big one and a small one and then two my other one is in my car <laughs> but these are just nice big clips that you clip into your hair I love them I was so intimidated to wear these at first but I just kind of went with oh hello um, I just kind of went with it and was like I just want to be on Pinterest, so I'll just wear them anyway. <laughs> and so I finally found my confidence with them. They're so fun, and they make your outfit just a little bit more exciting and something special. They're super inexpensive and easy to find everywhere you look. Like I said, I am still looking for cute headbands um, when I can buy new things again, but right now I've been loving clips. And I will leave a link for everything that I can down below if you guys are interested and want to pick these up for yourself, so check out my description. Okay, moving on to the face, I if you guys recently watched my, I don't really know how my videos will schedule out, but I talked about in my summer makeup look, I talked about this sunscreen, and I have had so much trouble finding sunscreen because I feel like it makes my skin feel, a lot of people say that it makes their skin gray, to me I feel like it makes my skin kind of gray but also like this weird like pink undertone I don't know it just never works out with my foundation and sometimes my favorite foundations don't have SPF like built into them so that can be a struggle because I want to protect my skin especially in this season um, so I tried the Neutrogena sheer zinc face dry touch SPF 50 and I follow a dermatologist on YouTube and she kind of went through all of the drugstore um, sunscreens that are out there and highly highly recommended this one so I picked it up and I have been loving it it doesn't mess with my foundation or the coloring of my foundation it goes on nicely it, it acts as like a nice little primer um, but it doesn't make my skin oily because it does have that dry touch so I feel like it dries very quickly and I've just been loving it. It's been my favorite. You can pick it up anywhere. And I feel like this is a good one year round because you also want to be protecting your skin even in the winter. Um, so I'm glad that I finally found one that I love and hopefully it doesn't like mess up on me. I have been using it for like two weeks so we'll see how we get on with that. But so far it's been great. Following along with that video as well, I did just want to mention it again because I'm talking about my favorites and it is truly one of my favorite products. This is the Burt's Bees All Glow. Um, cream blush in Suzanne's I always want to say like Suzanne something else but it's just <laughs> Suzanne's and it's a little janky because I absolutely love it but you can see maybe a little bit this is what I have on today and it is a gorgeous cream blush I love it I've always been a little bit intimidated with cream blushes because I feel like when my makeup is set like the last thing that I want to do is like pat my fingers I don't know it just like doesn't seem right to me but I went for it and I've been obsessed with it I love it it has a nice little sheen in the middle of it like a nice white sheen that goes over top which like mixed in with your highlighter and your blush like it's just gorgeous and so I've been obsessed with it I can't do my makeup without it just a quick um, skincare thing I haven't really been experimenting too much with skincare because I've liked kind of where my skin is at right now and I don't really want to mess around with anything um, but the one thing that I will say I picked up the origins ginseng refresher skin scrub 
Um, this is like a very gentle daily scrub cleanser and I love it. It's perfect for the summer. I love exfoliating literally every single part of my body in the summer. Um, so my face does not get to miss out on that. And I love it. It smells so nice. I use it in the morning. It wakes me up. It's just that nice orangey citrus scent that's nice to wake up to. And yeah, I've just been obsessed with exfoliating my skin with this. Um, so it's been very good and I highly recommend this. So keeping with the skin theme, I'm going to now move to the body. And the one thing that I do year round, but I did just want to mention it again because it has changed like my shower routine completely and it is a dry brush. This is from Eco Tools. I think I just got it at the grocery store um, and it's just a nice, big, thick, round brush, um, dry brush. And I dry brush my body every single time I get into the shower. So before I jump in, I will just dry brush my skin all over and it just helps exfoliate your skin. It helps the circulation move throughout your body and it's just really great. And I have seen such a difference. I've been probably dry brushing for now six months and Sebastian will always tell me how soft my skin is and how I'm so soft and smooth. And I swear like when I shave my legs, it's because of dry brushing. Um, when you don't shave your legs, you're not that soft. But I love this. I can't go without it. It has just made such a difference in my skin. And especially in the summer when you want to like look your best and you're exposing a lot more of your skin, super important to exfoliate. So I've been loving that. Um, you always just want to like dry brush up to your heart. Um, that's a quick little tip. And yeah, it doesn't really hurt. I mean, when I first started using it, I would get like red all over. Um, but that's what it's kind of supposed to do is get your blood flowing and your oxygen and everything moving. So it doesn't bother me that much anymore. You get super used to it. And I just probably change this out every couple months. I don't really know like exactly how long you're supposed to change it out, but this is my second one. So I've changed it out once and I love it. I could never not do this. It's my favorite. After I will dry brush my skin, I like to go in with this L'Oreal um, self tanning water mousse. Oh, this stuff is so good. My friend Mikkel got me on this and it is the only way that I self tan right now. I was getting spray tans and I still love to do that for like bigger occasions, but like on day to day life, I don't want to have to go and do that um, when I can just do something at home. And I found that this one works so well. What I really love about it is the scent is like fresh coconut. It doesn't smell like that nasty self tanner. I, that never gives like, that's never a problem for me, but I know like Sebastian doesn't like when I smell like that. So I think he's been really liking the smell of this one and it hasn't bothered him. And I really love the way that it smells. And I also just love the way that it looks. It's what I have on today. I mean, I feel like I need to touch it up on my hands and stuff. But yeah, it's what I have on today. And I just love the glow that it gives. Um, it's so easy to put on. Again, it's like a water mousse. That's the only thing that's a little bit tricky is like, it's clear, so you don't really know <laughs> where it's going. I've had some mishaps with my feet. Um, Cause like, I think it's a six, oh, it's like four to eight hours, um, a gradual tan, but it's so good. I love it. And I just love self tanning. I don't see, like, it, I don't know. I'd rather be like a little bit patchy than pasty white in the summer. So I'm still learning the best application and how to do it, but I love it so much. And I thought I would share it with you guys because it has been like I have used a good chunk of it because I just love it. <laughs> so moving on to fashion bits, I wanted just to quickly, you guys kind of saw my little outfit, but I wanted just to show this off because I just love it. This was thrifted at Uptown Cheapskate and I love in the summer just having like nice cozy clothes that I can run errands in and they're not, I, I have like a problem with tight jean shorts in the summer. It's so uncomfortable. It sounds like the worst idea ever. I don't want to sit there and like pick shorts out of my thighs. Like stuff like this, like little jumpers and rompers are so like ideal for me in the summer. So I'm so glad I found this. It's so cozy and comfortable. I love the blush pink. It's my favorite piece. Um, but I also wanted to talk about accessories. So this handbag has been one of my favorites. I love like a straw picnic bag. So cute. I thrifted both of these actually at the Goodwill. So I have this cute little like, I don't even know where I'd wear this, but it's just so cute. I just love it. Um, this nice little clutch bag that looks like a picnic basket. It's so cute. So fun for like coffee dates, running out, like in a cute little sundress, just having like your phone, your wallet, very limited stuff. 
I love this. And then for a nice bigger tote where you can hold things, I've taken this to the pool with me. It has a nice open pocket. It is that fun cheetah on the inside. And again, I thrifted both of these at the Goodwill. And I think it's just fun to kind of switch out your bags, especially in the summer. Um, just for something a little bit more feminine and cute. I don't know. I just really love the way that this pairs with a lot of my outfits. And it's just a great day bag. So I thought I would share because there's so many out there. You don't have to thrift yours if you're not a big thrifter like I am. They're all over the place. I will leave some of my favorite below so you guys can check them out. And then lastly, activity-wise or like, I don't really know. This is just like other, <laughs> another category, is reading. I have been obsessed all year long with reading. It is my goal, as you guys know, to read a book a month and I'm still on that. Um, this was one of my favorites that I read throughout the summer season. This is Little Fires Everywhere. I have loved it. Um, it was such a great book. I read it so fast. I was hooked. I, it's very character heavy and I love books like that where you can really dive into the character and learn about their story and it's just there's a lot of different people and it intertwines with a lot of different stories and I just loved it. It was a great read and summer is the perfect time to pick up a new book and just take some time for yourself and dive into something new and sit outside. I don't know. I've just really been loving it. So this was been, this has been my favorite book of the summer season. So those are some of my favorites that I've been loving the last month, month and a half. Um, let me know if you guys have tried any of these, if you love any of these or what you guys are loving this summer. I am doing a quick little monthly challenge of not spending any money, but once I'm done, maybe I'll pick up some of your guys' favorites. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.